Scotland Diamonds and to non-league football, well, it, it's just breathtaking, really, isn't it? One day, this team will be a, will be a league side. I've absolutely no doubts about that. Hello, how are you? Welcome, guys. Uh, back with me, John, a.k.a. Old Man Sudo, and we are back with AFC Rushton and Diamonds. And, yeah, you can probably see it just there. We're in third in the championship in our first season. It, it's, it's going bloody marvellous, absolutely marvellous, really. Um, I'll quickly show you how we've been getting on, because I think that's the most important thing. See how we are in that sort of position. Um, I left you after the 5-1 thrashing uh, to Man City in the Carabao Cup. Um, and as you can see, we've responded fantastically after that and had some really good results. We played Brentford again. We played them already in the Carabao Cup. Uh, we played them again in the league and beaten 3-2. Comf it weren't comfortable. It was a good good one, though. As you can see, we actually got the winner in the 89th minute. Nomino and Brig Manor getting the goals for us on this one. Um, and, yeah, we, 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 got, we got the win, which was the main thing. We then played QPR. Tough game. 4-3. Again, scored in... Um, Oh, well, we scored in sort of the 90th minute. They scored in the 91st minute. As you can see, I mean, we scored in the 49th minute. They scored in the 48th minute. Um, and it was uh, goals from everywhere, really. So it was a really good result for us. Really tough game, but a good win. And after that 5-1 drumming, I thought, oh, this is it. This is where we're going to start really losing games. But, yeah, we, we, we bounced back fantastically. We then played Sunderland. Beat them 2-0. Reasonably comfortable, as you can see there. Dave, Davis and Nomino getting the goals. Nomino's been in really good form for us of late. And then we played Blackburn, got a 1 0 win. Problem we did have, as you can see there, Warren got injured and Muddyman got injured. So, not really helpful for us in that sense. We have had a little bit of a break though. Um, so, some of the players are actually managing to get back. I'll say a little bit of a break. It's been a couple of days. But, yeah, it, we have had a few. They didn't pick up big knocks. Uh, Warren, I think, is out for a week. In fact, let's have a quick look, shall we? Uh, yeah, Warren's out for another... How long is he out for? Another two weeks. Baghdadi got injured on international duty. So, he's out for five more days. And Muddy Moon got injured for... How long was it for? I can't remember now. It was like one or two days. It wasn't anything important anyway. But yeah, it's it's what it is. And that but as as I said, we are in third position. God knows how we've done that. We're only one point, I didn't realise we're only one point behind Norwich, who we're playing now. I was gonna bring you uh, if I go to back to the schedule, I was gonna bring you the West Ham Middlesbrough game. Then I saw we were playing Norwich and West Ham and I thought, do you know what? Norwich are top of the league, it'd probably be better to, to bring them than Middlesbrough, who are middle table so yeah Norwich it is instead but one point behind them absolutely fantastic we're doing and we haven't even drawn the game yet um we're doing fantastic one nine lost three scored 13 or 13 goal difference couldn't have asked for much more than that it's been going more than better actually I mean to be honest now we can go on a nice little losing streak I'll be more than happy we're about halfway to the points we need maybe just over halfway yeah, yeah, there's not much else I can say. It's, it's all just going really, really well for us at the moment. That's the main thing. Well, this side's going well. This side's not. We're starting to lose money. Um, and the only thing I can put it down to is it costs a lot of money to go to all these grounds and have, have the teams here and all that sort of stuff. And we just don't make enough money because we don't have a big enough... And we don't have a big enough um, stadium, basically, and everything like that. So... I was sort of looking through it, and I think this is one of our big problems. If I go through down to the lowest attendance, 4,769, that's our sellout. That's our ground completely full. And I know we've got some more uh, stuff, you know, we've got the ground being improved and expanded, uh, and it will be available in December, but it's not going to be expanded that much. I mean, the Blackburn, you know, lowest attendance, 10,000. Average attendance, 14,000. Uh, if I go to the stadium sellouts, We've had seven sellouts, 4,769. Absolutely crazy. I mean, you know, we, we, we do need, we do need to obviously have more. I mean, 100% capacity. I mean, this is crazy. 100% capacity, 4,769 there. Um, you know, I mean, even these teams that have got maybe 70% capacity or 70-80% capacity, I mean, double, maybe even triple. I mean, West Ham look at forty-eight thousand uh, average attendance. I mean, uh, and get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I understand we're not going to be at West Ham side, but this is the problem we're going to get: is that we can do as well as we like. We, we we're doing fantastic, but we're going to be 
the club's going in the red and there's nothing we can do about it until we start building up all this sort of stuff and the infrastructure and um, it goes back to stuff I did talk about probably when I first started this is that you need to build the club if you're doing a low league manager save it's not just about getting promotion 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 it's about building the club as well because you'll get to a point where you're in the red and you've got no money sort of thing and it can work out okay but it can also not and uh we're in a, we're not we're not in the red at the moment it could work itself out good cup runs and stuff like that could also help boost us and if you like and tv rights and stuff like that but i just wanted to point that out to you guys i think this is where why we're losing money because we just haven't got the facilities to accommodate the league we're in at the moment that's the problem basically um but let's get straight into it shall we um why what was i going to do i can't even remember now what we were going to do um yeah so we'll get into the game anyway because i can't remember if there's anything else to talk about or not but we'll get into it i don't even think i've sorted the team out yet so you're going to see me sort my team out a little bit um and it's i mean the team's not going to change too much we might change one or two people around muddy moon's not I don't want to play him. He's uh he's obviously just coming back. So Barlow can go out on the right. He can play there, and he doesn't mind playing there too much. Grimshaw is looking a bit tired, so we're going to bring on Lundstrom. I feel like we need a more defensive player uh to play here at the moment because we're playing a really good side in Norwich, top of the league. They're doing really well as well. So we definitely need to be a little bit careful. Uh, Nomino can Blake there. We'll just change him to a target man because it's his more preferred role. I think we'll leave it at that for now. I don't think there's anything else we want to do. Uh, no, there's not anything else we want to do. I think we'll leave it exactly how it is. It's not a bad team. It should do pretty well if you ask me. So let's see how we get on, shall we? It's uh, it's going to be a difficult one. Like I'm not expecting to win this match. Norwich are one of the best teams in the league uh, by a million miles. Um, and, yeah, I mean, have they got anyone that we can recognise? Uh... No one I particularly recognise. Who's Jay Swift? He's 31 years old now. He's been at Norwich for a couple of years. Starts off at Reading. Um, Mendin. Does he start off at somewhere in Paraguay? Uh, I don't know myself. I've not really looked at South America. B Paz. Portuguese player. Looks reasonably okay. Starts off at Sporting from the looks of it. No one I can really recognise from the Norwich team. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? Uh, yeah, I mean, this one and the West Ham game, uh, the two games, I, I do feel like they're going to both be extremely difficult. You know, really, really are going to be difficult. Come on, I'll show me what you can do. Did okay, we'll give them a bit of a passionate talk here. Um, they're going to be difficult games. I mean, these are premiership teams or teams that you sort of associate around the premiership, top of the championship sort of thing. West Ham, more premiership, obviously. Norwich, you'd say sort of, they're one of those teams that will have a couple of good years in the Premiership and then a couple of good years in the Champion or not so good years in the Championship as it's been like lately and they find themselves having a really good couple of years again moving up into the Premiership so yeah it's going to be a really tough match I'm expecting us to um, as long as we don't get hammered I'm not expecting, I'm expecting us to lose but I don't want us to get hammered I don't want us to lose like 4-0, 5-0, something like that. If we can give them a game, we'll be more than happy. And we usually become good towards the second half. They've got a chance here. And all oh, that was close. That was blimming close there. Um, just you know, an inch or two out of the way. As they come forward now, Swift with the ball. It's Norwich coming forward. They put a deep cross in and Ferreira gets there. But Mafu with a fantastic save. And really, it's all... Norwich at the moment from the looks of it they've got a corner now we do clear it but it's only going to go far as Medway who fires it a shot in but it doesn't go anywhere and I mean they're, they're, you can see that seven uh, shots already Mendin has been injured for them it looks like which could be a good bit for us here 40 minutes gone maybe if we could get a goal like by half time or something like that steal one or something that could be quite good for us Bruno Paz now to Swift I mean it's all them at the moment we can't really find any room in medway now and it's an own goal i think i think pearson put it in his own in our own net yeah he did own goal i mean he went in for the tackle and he got the ball but he it's, uh, initially he just took it past the keepers in it i mean swift here uh they're playing it well i mean they deserve the goal uh they get a bit of room here medway here and he comes sliding from a mile off and uh yeah manages to find the bottom corner uh one nil down already but we might have got a chance here galloway now to lundstrom to deontes to peak emery what's he gonna do finally find deontes no who does that oh gallagher so close um 
and I mean we haven't played bad but obviously Norwich are just finding a little bit more room than us at the moment uh, half time right team talk what can we say uh, and look boy things just haven't gone right for us that's gone down quite well uh, is there anything we want to change um, I think we do I think we're going to try and work it into the box a little bit um, and what else can we do We'll try shorter passing, I feel. Maybe see if that works for us. Uh, who's not playing particularly well? Davis is not playing well. Barley's not playing well either. Um, I mean, Bowen's not playing brilliant. Neither's Hill. You know, Barley's 6.38, so we'll bring on Muddyman for him. Uh, apart from that, Davis as well. From No, not Nomino. Uh, I did the wrong button. Uh, Davis for Chihuahua. Uh, right, let's go. See how we get on. A couple of changes, maybe some fresh legs for the second half. Might help out. We'll leave one sub just in case there's an injury or anything like that. But we needed to do something. It wasn't really working for us, so we might as well try. Uh, 53, 54 minutes gone. And it's still really Norwich. I mean, we, we, only, we haven't changed lots, but we've changed a little bit. We would expect maybe a little bit more of a response than this at the moment. But Medway there, but we do get the ball. Now Muddyman's got it. Muddyman gets it out to Peak Emre. Peak Emre with a long ball to Deontes. Deontes might have a chance here. Oh, it wasn't far off. It wasn't far off at all. We were close there. We've got a corner now. Muddyman puts the ball in. Is he going to try and find somebody? Can he can't? Deontes now to Gallagher. Gallagher with a free ball. Somehow it's found the net. I'm not even sure who that went off. Own goal by uh, Tetchesi. Tetchdesi. Tetchdesi. Um, but yeah, I mean, it sort of pinged about a bit here, didn't it? And it just ricocheted and went into the back of the net. We'll take it though. It's one all. I'm happy with a draw. I'll take a draw any day of the week against um, this team. Uh, 20 minutes left to go though. And we've still got a chance. We've got another injury it looks like. Or is that still the same guy actually? I think they've made all their substitutions. We're probably going to make one more ourselves actually. Uh, Gallagher's looking pretty tired. So we're going to bring, bring a man on for him. We'll make him into an advanced playmaker. And let's just see. We might be able to steal this with 13 minutes left to go. You never know. Uh, 10 minutes left now. Can we can we just steal this? Let's throw them in some encouragement, shall we? Uh, as we seem to have got into the game a little bit more towards the end. But time's ticking really, really quickly. And I'm guessing it looks like there's a minute and a half left. So maybe there is one more chance here. We can't get the ball here. No, no, no. Whoa, that was close. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. Every single time there's a chance of something like that. Uh, and we do clear the ball here, but not really far enough. And the 40 seconds left, we really do need to be careful. Uh, Hill gets the ball now. And it, can Deontes get there? He can't. Try to get there. Ciao out to Deontes now. And he puts it out. And with probably 20 seconds left, surely they can't score with 10 seconds left now. Uh, they try and throw it down the line. What What was that? I mean, that was just rubbish. And that's pretty much time now. It looks like it's going to be our first draw of the season. Going with the ball now. What's he going to do with it? Uh puts it to go out to Gwain to Pearson to Brighamana. Brighamana can find Emery. Emery can put it out to Muddyman. He does. He puts a first ball in but time's gone and that's it. It's the first draw of the season against top of the table Norwich. We will take that. That's not a bad effort at all. What kind of that was a great effort. Uh, it's gone okay. But yeah, we'll take that. That was absolutely fine. I, I mean, bit of luck either side. They had no goal. We had no goal. Can't, you know, We'll take it. We've got West Ham next. Then we've got Middlesbrough. I mean, look at that. It's like a few days in between each game. Still in third place from the looks of it as well. Two points clear of Reading, who have a game in hand over us, though. Um, and we're st now three points behind Nottingham Forest and still one point behind um, Norwich. Uh, right, what does this say here? Ch oh, Chihuahua was injured three to six days. Not too bad. Big man is set for an extra year. I'll answer that in a second. Um, right. Next match against West Ham, guys, I will see you in a flash. Right, guys, this is the team we're going to go with um, for the West Ham game. Um, and it's going to be a tough one again, but we get, we've had to change a few players around just to try and, you know, get some fresh feet and all that, or fresh legs in there and that sort of stuff. Um, in fact, I shall change them to around. I think that would be better for us, and we'll play you as a... There we go. Um, right, so it's going to be Matthew and Gold. Gwain is staying out on the left with Bout and Pearson, and Cessnog's coming in on the right just to give Joe Hill a little bit of a rest. Uh, Muddyman's coming back in with Grimshaw playing a sort of defensive ball-winning midfielder role. Uh, Gallagher, 
Davies out on the left for us. Nomino and then Pete Emery. Deontis is ineligible because obviously he's on loan from West Ham, so we can't take him, unfortunately, for this game. Uh, so it means also that Eddie Brown is coming out on the bench. Uh, Townsend's coming on the bench as well because uh, Chihuahua's picked up a slight knock. He's out for a day or two. He should be back quite soon, though, for us. Um, apart from that, though, it's pretty much the same team, same sort of tactics and everything like that. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, obviously, we, really good result against Norwich. I'm still re I'm really happy with that. I know it was only a draw, but you know it was a difficult one. Have they got any players that we do recognise? Um, probably some I should recognise, but I don't at the moment. Oh, uh, Alexander Arnold. Obviously, recognises him. Um, not a bad player at all, is he? Uh, really? But Alexander Arnold, I recognise. I probably should recognise a couple of other these players, but. I'm terrible at names and remembering people and that sort of stuff so we'll get straight into it shall we uh, we'll give them the usual passionate talk saying come on lads we're at home so you'd think or you'd like to think we've got a chance at home as well so let's give them more passionate talk we'll end that talk there kick off and let's see how we get on uh, I'll be happy with another draw here to be honest I mean to be honest, we're doing so well with our sort of uh, non beat or not being beaten sort of unbeaten uh, run at the moment it'd be good to carry that on uh, in any way shape or form but it's West Ham coming forward at the moment and it's again we're starting off poor we do seem to start off poor with our games which is a bit of a problem as they get a ball through here and <sighs> again this is the problem we have is every game we start off poor and then we seem to grow into the game at the moment Alexander here gets across him and we should do better there Sigurdsson should have done better or well, Cessnog, sorry, should have done better um, than that. And, I mean, somebody goes past three, in between three players, and they do get the goal. Uh, not a good start for us at all, really, but hopefully we'll get back into this game a little bit. Like I said, it seems to be that come sort of towards the set, end of the first half, second half is when we get into the game and we really do start to cause them a bit more uh, problems. But West Ham have got another chance here. Alexander with the ball. Um, can we clear it? They put in a shot and it just goes wide. And... We'll try the same try more direct long balls for so we'll give that a go see what can happen uh alexander now with the ball as west ham will probably look to come forward again but we seem to be holding them quite back quite well uh Janik to uh post it to i can't say his name grimshaw with a great tackle there gets it off to nomino nomino with a great run takes a shot straight at the keeper though and oh, it's promising promising that is the main thing for us uh, but it's West Ham coming forward again they get, oh, he gets too much room surely that's a goal it is and where we were, we just fell asleep then he had it was such a it was a good pass but we fell asleep we should have defended much better than that not a good bit of football by us here I mean he has so much room here and then he does a fantastic pass there creates so much room and yeah good goal but we should we should be defending a lot better than that right we'll show you some encouragement we're not playing well at all at the moment are we 45 minutes gone and it's West Ham coming forward again as they get the ball here and they put a cross in and it's good hands by Mafu and we're going to go in 2-0 down it looks like from the first half not a good start or not good good match so far for us I should say um, they're looking tight though so we've got a chance maybe we have got a chance in the second half we can maybe get back into this we'll say assertively I expect to see a much better half everyone looks a bit fired up and sort of raring to go so we'll see how we get on Let's see if we can maybe get back into this game, shall we? Uh, it's Grimshaw with the ball now to Pearson. Uh, gets it out wide, it looked like there, but there's not much going on at the moment. They've got a highlight now. Muddyman with the ball. What's he going to do here? Gives it off to Gallagher. He's picked up a knock from the looks of it. He finds Davis with a great pass. Davis with a ball in. Emery, so close. Oh, that was so close. I, I, I did it again every time. Uh, Emery picked up a knock as well. We're going to have to make a few changes, right? Uh, Eddie Brown's going to have to come on there. Gallagher's not looking pretty good, so we'll bring on bring a man of there as well and make him into an advanced player. Uh, we haven't got anyone to play on the left really. Uh, Cessnog's not playing great, so let's bring Joe Hill on. All three subs made. See how we get on. 40 minutes or so left, 35 minutes left, and we'll see how we go. Uh, time's ticking away though, and really we do need to start making some moves if we're going to get back into this game, and it's not looking like we're going to at the moment. I mean, 15 minutes left, and it's all gone quiet. There's no highlights or anything happening at the moment. Come on. Come on, Diamonds. Come on. Get, come on, get a goal with 
10 minutes left, get a goal so we can really give him a last 10 minutes and try and get an equaliser. Gwain now tries to find Brown and he's sort of just about got there but no one picked up the second ball and it's West Ham coming forward. Grimshaw cuts it out again, he's played really well for us actually. Brown though, couldn't get the pass in and tries to find Nomino there but he couldn't and it's a pass back to the keeper. And I'm not sure why this is a highlight at the moment as it's West Ham now starting to play it to come forward. Moeman's tracking him uh, all the way through to the middle. But he's left the right hand side wide open on the left hand side for West Ham as they come forward. Now they get a pass in and they get a shot and they find a third goal. And uh, Aleski, I'll call it. Um, yeah, finds it. Antonio Aleski with the goal. And surely that sealed the match for us. There's no way we're going to get back into this now with 10 minutes left and we're 3 0 down. And it's been a rubbish display by us to be honest absolutely terrible um yeah we should have done better than this really i mean we've not really had any shots on goal or anything like that we've just not been in this match at all 86 87 88 minutes gone and surely that's it this time's just ticking away now um i mean we had seven shots four on target but they've got a chance they don't make it four nil it's a terrible shot to be honest and that's it it's full time we do lose three nil not a good result for us um We'll say assertively, I'm not happy with the performance out there as well. Let's leave the match. Yeah, not a great result for us. We could, we would have liked to have done a little bit better than that, but it's against a big club in West Ham. I guess we couldn't have asked for too much, really, in some ways. Um, we are still in third, though, but obviously Reading do have a game in hand, and we have got a nice little gap, so it's not too much to worry about. Um, but, yeah, we were just outclassed there. I think we were outperformed. Uh, yeah, as I said, they're outperformed. How long was uh, P. Emery out for? Oh, he's out for two to four weeks. No, oh, what? That's not good. Yeah, you need to score more goals, mate, um, as well. Right, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Um, as I said, we are still in third. So uh, there's a, lot, a long way to go yet, though, so we'll see what happens. Um, right, when are we going to come back? We'll come back for... When do we come back? That's the question. When do we come back? We'll come back for... We'll come back for the Wolves and Nottingham Forest game. Nottingham Forest and Wolves. We'll come back for then. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Please remember to like and sub. Um, I'm so close as well to 10,000 views. I've really been trying to push it. I know the last couple of episodes, but I'm literally 40 or something like that away now. Something crazy, I think it is like that. Um, so remember to tweet out, help me out a bit. Try and get your mates to watch it, all that sort of stuff. Tell them all about me, um, and hopefully um, we'll break that 10,000 sort of very, very soon. It'd be absolutely fantastic. If by the time this episode has gone out, I've already broke it, then, well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching, guys. As always, it's been a pleasure, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye for now.